This is lesson 14 of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson is about Joomla templates and the topics are the template manager, finding templates, installing templates, configuring templates and viewing template positions. One of the best things about Joomla is the wide range of templates that are available. If you are a designer, you can create your own templates too, or find someone experienced to code a template from your design. Templates are technically a type of extension, and they're managed in Administrator under Extensions, Template Manager. You'll see that this version of Joomla has five templates installed by default, three site templates and two administrator templates. The site templates are the ones you're interested in as they refer to the front end templates. The currently active templates are marked with a gold star. To change the template that's being used, simply click the star to the right of the template name. The default star moves to the newly selected template. Now when you look at the front end of the site, you'll see that it has a completely different look. Choose the next one. And once again, the site design has changed. You're not limited to these three site templates. There are hundreds of off-the-shelf Joomla templates available. Some are free, but the better designs are commercial and you can expect to pay between $30 to $80 per template. To find them, either use your favourite search engine using keywords such as Joomla 3 template. You can also find a selection in the Joomla resources directory, which I introduce in the last of these lessons. Finally, we have a list of recommended templates on the resources page of our website. Look for Resources Recommended Templates. When you find a suitable template, have a read of the installation instructions, usually provided by the template developer, as everyone has a different way of doing things. There are three common methods to installing templates. Installing a quick start package, installing the template on its own, or installing the template along with some supporting files. So the first option is to install what's known as a quick start package. This is a single file that contains both the template along with all the Joomla files. This is only useful if you haven't yet installed Joomla. When you choose a template and go to the download page, have a read of the instructions to determine if the developer has provided a quick start package. There will often be a reference to the file, including a copy of the Joomla files. I'm not going to demonstrate this method, as the process is the same as installing Joomla manually. You walk through the same steps demonstrated in the earlier lessons in this course, so if you need help with this option, go back and watch from Lesson 6. The difference is that instead of downloading the Joomla file from Joomla, you download the Quick Start package from the template developer. Work through the installation in the same way, and when you get to the web installer, make sure you install the sample data. When the installation is complete, you end up with a Joomla website that looks the same as the demo version on the template developer's website. The installed site contains customised sample data and quite often other features from the developer as well. In other cases, the process is to install a template into an existing Joomla website, but there are two ways this might be done. The first method is to install a single file. Once again, have a read through the template download page and make sure you're downloading a template that is compatible with your version of Joomla. For example, this template file is for Joomla 1.5 and 2.5, which will not work with Joomla 3. Let's install this template.
This is the download page and you'll see that there are several options. Have a read of the description to determine the correct version. Some template developers supply both the template and files known as a framework. If that's the case, you need the download that contains both. In this example, that's the first option. I'll go ahead and start the download. And while that completes, I'll talk you through the rest of the options to explain the differences. The second option just contains the template and as the description says, this is only useful if the framework has been installed. The third and fourth options are quick start packages that contain the Joomla installation as well as the template. The final download is a collection of source files that allow you to modify the design of the template, which is useful if you have design skills, but it's not required to get the template working. The template has been downloaded and as this particular template just needs to be installed directly as is, the next step is to log into Administrator. Then go to Extensions, Extension Manager. Unless it is already selected, click the Upload Package File tab. Click the Choose File button or whatever it is labelled in your browser and navigate to the location of the template zip file that was downloaded. Select it and click the Upload and Install button. Depending on the size of your template and your internet connection speed, this could take some time. Once it's been uploaded, you need to make it the new default template. Go to Extensions, Template Manager. Click the star next to the name of the newly installed template. Go to your front end to view the results. It may not look exactly the same as the demonstration that you saw from the template developer. And this is where you need to refer to the instructions that come with the template to see what changes you need to make to your configuration to produce the desired result. With some templates, you might need to download the template file plus one or more supporting files. Hopefully the developer will make this clear, but if you find that after you install a template you're getting an error on the front end, such as framework missing, it means there are more template files to install. Let's take a look at an example. This is the template I'll be installing. So I'll go ahead and click the download button. There are several available downloads. The first two are quick start packages which aren't helpful on this occasion. The third file is the actual template. There are four other files and I'll get those as well. When I click the download button, a single file is created and saved to my local computer. Now, if I'd bothered to read the instructions, I would have discovered that the file that was downloaded needed to be extracted first. In other words, you don't try to install the single file that was downloaded. So I'll open the downloaded file and extract its contents. The extracted files include the actual template, the template framework and other supporting files. I'll go ahead and install just the template. So back in Administrator this is managed at Extensions, Extension Manager. Then upload the file. You should install the other files as well, but I'll skip this for now to prove a point. 
In the previous example, the next step was to go to Extensions, Template Manager, and mark the new template as the default. When I do this with this template and go to the front end, you'll see that an error is displayed. So, for this template, a supporting file known as the framework needs to be installed as well. So return to Extensions Manager, install the appropriate file, and upload it. Now the front end displays the site again with the new design. As it happens, this template included other supporting files, but they're optional, so I'll skip them. As developers use their own approach to an extent, it's impossible to teach the exact steps you'll need to follow for every template installation. However, the principles are always the same. Find a template you like. If you haven't installed Joomla yet, you can use a quick start package if that's an option. Otherwise, download the template file and install it into your site. If you need to install framework files too, go ahead and do that. Then mark the newly installed template as the default in Template Manager. Joomla template developers have the ability to include parameters that allow you to change the look and certain functionality of the template. Back in Administrator, let's switch back to the default template that comes with Joomla. Now, click on the template title here. Then when you click on the Advanced tab, you'll see several options listed. These options vary from one template to another, or they might not exist at all. These options are included at the discretion of the template developer. Let's have a look at some options available in this template. If you want to change the logo, you can do so here by clicking the Select button and choosing a file from the site or uploading a new image. Alternatively, you can click the Clear button to remove the logo. If you do that, some text will be displayed instead as specified by the content in the title box. There is an optional second line of text too. Let's save these changes and look at the front end. You can see that the logo has been replaced by the two lines of text. Other templates may have different parameters. I'll now change the default template to this one and look at its parameters. And you'll see that this template allows the position of the navigation to be changed from the left column to the right. And the, the design can be changed too. When I click Save and Close, you can see those changes on the front end. In an earlier lesson, I explained that templates include code that tells Joomla where to position the modules. A good template developer will provide a map that displays the positions available in the template, like the one used in this example. It's helpful to have this on hand when you create a module, so you know where to position it. But if no template map is supplied, you will need to either open an existing module and look at its position, or try this trick. 
From Template Manager, click the Options button in the top right. In this window, change Preview Module Positions to Enabled. Click Save and Close and go to the front end of your website. Then add the following to the URL of your home page. Index.php question mark tp equals 1. This displays light coloured boxes on top of the page contents. They're sometimes a bit hard to read, but the template position names are superimposed over the content. For example, the Articles menu module that was created in the earlier lesson is in position 7. So are the sample menus and the login form. At the bottom of the column is another position called position 5. At the bottom are positions 9, 10 and 11. And there are various other positions too. And that's all there is to installing and configuring a template. Your exercise for this lesson is to go through our list of recommended Joomla template developers listed on the resources page at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com. In the next lesson, you will learn how to get the most out of Joomla by using extensions.